Well, it's about that time. It's time for the Cummins Real Estate Show with Michelle Cummins and myself, Curtis Pope. And a good morning to you, Michelle. Good morning, Curtis. Well, here we are. We're back at it. It's another weekend. Looks like it's going to be a nice weekend weather-wise. I know you've been selling houses left, right, and center the last few days. It is the fall market. It's Holy so cow. crazy busy. I'm looking on Facebook yesterday and like not one, not two, but three houses. Michelle sold this. Michelle sold this. Michelle sold this. I'm like, wow. It is like fast and furious, I tell you. It has been good. Of course, it's all supply and demand, and it's the fall market. Ever since after Labor Day weekend, bang, it's been a fall market. Well, I couldn't help but notice one of the places that sold really fast was the one I did the video for. Yes, and, in fact. <laughs> and young Isabella was there doing the showing. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, yes. So maybe there's something going on with all this. See, there's <laughs> this connection, there's energy, there's the electricity here, there's a reason for everything, and I do believe that. And yeah, there was some, I, w- I would say Irish luck, good luck, horseshoe luck. No, I think it's just Ar- Ar- Armenian talent. luck. Talent. It is. He was really good. Armenian like, let, yeah, let's say that. No. Uh, yeah, that one just went fast, actually. And we're going to talk about a little bit of that because that one went in multiple offers. And wow, multiple offers, you say? In fact, I just did an evaluation yesterday and they're like, it's a seller's market. It actually is. Hmm. Yeah, it's still, it's still strong. And we haven't really gone into a balanced market no. even since last February, even a year and a half ago. Typically, it takes about 18 months to correct when we're going into a correction. And we're at that pretty much at 18 month mark right now. So you'd think it'd start balancing. And they didn't raise interest rates last time. And there's some good incentives the government's doing right now. We're going to talk about on the show today. Did you know, though? No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. So, did you know that today is Batman Day? I did not know that. I should know that. (laughs) I'm a little hurt that I don't know it. (laughs) Batman. So what are we going to watch tonight? Probably a Batman movie. Which one? Hmm. That's a tough one. Yeah. It's always tough because the Christian Bale movies are are so good. But, uh, you know, I I, I do kind of like the first Batman because I like Jack Nicholson as the Joker. You know what? I love the first Batman. The Batman character, he played it so Michael good. Michael Keaton was great. So great. And wh- who was the blonde, wavy? What's her name? Oh, um... Bateman? Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, come on. Some... She was married to Alec Baldwin. Why am I drawing a blank on her name? Call us, listeners, and let <laughs> us know. <laughs> um, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank on that. That's going to bug me. Chris, oh... Yeah, so pretty. Anyways, and Michelle, oh, I love Michelle Pfeiffer doing when she did her. The, yes. Her, just lo- oh, so Kim Basinger. To- yes. I knew it was going to come to me. You did it. So today we have this really fun um, Remax um, Batman film. Check out, check out our socials. Check. Check out the social media. Check out mine. Check out Remax Magnolia. And you'll see it there. It's pretty fun. If I would have known, I'd be wearing a Batman outfit right now. Yeah, the spotlight is on. <laughs> I, can, I, can I should have given you the like notice. The, uh, I like the Lego uh, movie Batman, too, because that's Will Arnett. I have not seen that. Have you not seen the no. Lego movie? It's, it's, it's for kids, but still adults can watch it and laugh, too. And, and Will Arnett, you know, is the voice of Batman, and he's great. Good Canadian boy. Curtis. If you had a superpower, what would your superpower be? Huh. Um, if I had a superpower, who's saying I don't have a superpower? <laughs> <laughs> well, you doing the voiceover of that listing of mine Apparently, made it yeah. sell, sell really quick. Thank you for making me look good, folks. Um, um, a superpower, what would I want? You know, I kind of feel that uh, I always love the X-Men movies because I'm, I'm more of a Marvel guy than DC, although I do like Batman. How can you not like Batman? But I was always into like the X Men and and Wolverine and and uh, Spider Man and stuff like that. Like the whole Avengers thing is my thing. Um, is it almost like a Star Trek versus Star Wars kind of thing bit. when it comes a, to those two? A little bit, but I will say that you know, what I loved about the X Men is. Anytime you had a superpower, there was a villain who had the opposite power. Oh. So it always there was balance, right? Um, the I yin and like, the yang. I kind of like Doctor X with the uh, the power of his mind. I don't know. Oh, kinda, you know, intriguing. With, uh, Patrick Stewart. I, I kind of like that. Intriguing. I like it. Well, um, 
Okay. Well, what about you? We, oh, you've given us some thought. What? I know you have. Wand Woman. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking into song now. I just, I see her spinning, and I just love Wonder Woman. <laughs> We're going back to the 70s Wonder Woman. Yeah, when she would, she would yes. spin to change outfits. Yes. And Linda Carter looked like Wonder Woman. She did. It was just like they managed to cast somebody who looked just like the comic she book. She was so good. <laughs> um, no, but you know what? I asked that question to Christine Allen, realtor from our office, and she said she'd have the power, the superpower of healing. Mm. And I, that touched my heart so much. Well, that's a very selfish, a selfless um, way of doing it. Isn't that you want to help sweet? people where, you know, you have, being Wonder Woman, you've got the lasso <laughs> of truth, which is going to make your job a lot easier. <laughs> I'm really kind of geeking out a little bit here. I probably should have, but you know, there was that great scene in the in the uh, Justice League movie where Aquaman, Jason Momoa, sits on the lasso of truth. You ever see that? No. Wait, so he starts. He looks over at Wonder Woman. He's like, "You are gorgeous. You are just." And he's like, "Wait a minute!" And he started. He starts saying all these things that are coming to his mind. Oh no! He was sitting on the lasso of truth, or you know, so that's right. <laughs> he was sitting on it. Yeah, <laughs> that's so hilarious. Um, so next Sunday, actually, well, our show next week is going to be on a Sunday. That's right. I want to make sure next, everyone knows. Uh, next week, well, not next week, the week after. Oh, is it the week after? No, is it next week? I, we, no, next week, uh, 20, the week after. It'll be the 24th? Oh, no, because it's the Truth and Reconciliation. That's right, mm-hmm. Truth and Reconciliation Day, yes. Got we have that. special um, uh, programming going on all day. So oh, we're gonna, I'm glad I don't show up on a Sunday right. when it's supposed to be Saturday. So we'll bump us to the, the Sunday and we'll uh, kind of lead into the, the Country Classic show. So I'm here anyway. I might as well Fun. just do this too. Yeah, I like the classics. Dolly Parton. Uh, so events. Lots. So, well, the one event this uh, fall, oh, this September, I should say, not fall, is Hike for Hospice. And it's next Sunday. Uh, it's from 10 to 12. It's at the Heritage Park. And if you can, please donate to support uh, a Remax Magnolia. The office is raising money for it. And we're going to hike at it. And uh, we've got... Uh, link on our social media and our website, but check out the social media site, fa- Facebook or Instagram, easiest. And we are call, we're call, we've called ourselves the Remax Magnolia Trailblazers. So you'll see that link on there, and that way you get your donation re- uh, tax uh, receipt. And uh, the office is going to match donations up to two hundred and fifty dollars. So support the Mission Hospice. It's an amazing thing that they do for all of our loved ones and for us one day. So, uh, you know, reach out to them um, if you'd like to. And if you'd like to help us support them by our hike on that day, come out and hike yourself if you want. Uh, It's got Heritage Park starts at 10 o'clock. There's some light refreshments afterwards. It'll be a hoot. So and for a great cause. And again, the office of Remax Magnolia will match everyone's donation up to $250 on that link that you'll find it on our social media. So new regulations. Let's uh, talk about that. So there's new regulations regarding multiple offers and about that listing off Ashmore, which you did the voiceover for, Curtis, and it sold instantly. <laughs> I think it was Izzy. It yeah, was all Izzy. Actually, yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, I guess we, no. uh, we're going to keep dropping Izzy's name. Uh, you've been so kind. As uh, There's a young lady, my son's girlfriend, who's interested in going into real estate, and you've been allowing her to come out and hang out and, and learn to trade, which thank you very much. That's a very nice thing you're doing for her. It's so important to shadow another realtor and to get that experience and to know, is this for you? Because there's a lot more to it than, than one would think. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's a, but you're wearing a lot of hats, and it's... It's a lot of hours. It's what you put into it. So I'm just, she's a natural. I could already tell. So, and and you kind of have to have that to make it in this business. And she has it. Look at, she's already helping sell. That's right. Like amazing. She's <laughs> definitely got lots of drive and ambition. So she's, I think, uh, uh, she's got a lot, a lot going for her to pull off this real estate thing. Yeah, but she like does. you need more competition. I, <laughs> I am so looking forward to seeing her growth and seeing her build her empire. She's going to do really good. Uh, so yeah, so talking about the multiple offers, there is new regulations within the real estate board for transparency, and it's there's a two items that realtors ha- uh, have to do. One, if they're going to have a multiple offer situation or wanting that, or if they want to hold off on looking at any and all offers, there's something called the direction of presentation of offers. And that's where the seller can choose to wait to look at all the offers on a certain day and time and can choose whether they will 
allow a buyer's agent to represent their buyer in person or if they will only allow their agent, the listing agent. So that's a personal preference. And those are the two items really on that form that is connected with that real estate listing uh, through the real estate system. So realtors can see that on there. And again, it's called the direction and presentation of offers. So if you want to write an offer and your realtor or the listing agent says, oh, we're waiting on until next Monday, Tuesday, whenever, at this time to look at all, any and all offers, you can ask to, to, to see this form because it is signed by the sellers so that you know for sure that is the case. So it's about transparency. This uh, One thing about having your uh, buyer's agent represent. I like that as a listing agent and I like it as a buyer's agent. Some sellers though just want their realtor to present all offers. And I could see the efficiency in that and the focus in that as well. Uh, But you know, That is the second part on that form is they say whether or not they're okay with the buyer's agent representing themselves or it has to be only their agent. And there's, there's, pluses and minuses to to it. So talk with uh, your agent if you're confused or you're not sure, or if you want your agent to present your offer and and they're, if they can't, well, it's on that form as well. And the second part of the multiple offers, let's talk about when we get back from our break. All right, we'll take a quick break now. If people want more information about your listings, if you have any left, even selling them left, right, and center, where can they go? MichelleCummins.ca. We're back with more right after this.